in your Warp Torio 2 modded Factorio playthrough, you might find that you are massively constricted on building space, or perhaps alternatively that you are obsessively compressing every build you can into the smallest possible footprint because that's what you've decided you're going to do with this mod even though you've got wide open spaces elsewhere on your factory floor that you're not really doing anything with yet because you're a bit silly like that. Um, so today let's talk about three specific measurable things you can lean into if you're trying to make a build smaller. Um, so yeah, one assembler, one input inserter, one output inserter, uh, they've all got to be powered, but you can't really do less than this. And if you're doing more than this, there might be a space cost involved. Um, so if you're doing Logibot things, then I guess there's not really much to say, uh, video unhelpful. If we're doing belt stuff, there are a couple of tricks we can play to try and make this whole system as compact as possible. Um, maybe there's also pipes, maybe you're doing a Kemplants thing. Uh, we're talking about input and output inserters, so it's kind of applicable to smelting as well. But the main applicability is going to be items with yeah, recipes with more than two ingredients. And so, yeah, pretty standard workhorse build here. We've got one belt per pair of ingredients, we've got an inserter per belt, uh, this, this, this does things that are good. Let's compare this to a standard speedrunner blue science build that like, is not very good for compactness because it's not designed for that. We've got all these tiles that are just not doing anything, which is the first thing to look at, the first of the three things I want to talk about today. Just are there tiles in the middle of your build that are getting nothing done? Because obviously fewer of these would be better. Uh, the second thing is, are there tiles where it's just a piece of belt moving things between the attention of two inserters? Because if there are, we could have some undergrounders in here and then we could even like wedge a whole other build in here um, and yeah we're not even at belt weaving yet but these are ways of giving tiles to jobs um, so yeah empty tile no jobs sad tile and um, this tile has one job it's an inserter this tile has one job it's moving items through the build this tile has two jobs it's an inserter and it's also moving tiles through the build um, so if we're trying to get stuff done in as small a space as possible uh, having tiles with multiple jobs that, that, that's pretty good and um, I think my old labs build over here which I broke for this video is an example I like of this because the belts that are moving the side through the labs also share all the space with a bunch of labs and input inserters so yeah there's a couple of spaces that don't have any jobs but there's also a bunch of spaces with two jobs so you know that's something I like the third th thing to think about is in particular for when for when we're not really building large science per minute constructions and warp torio to at least for me is pretty chilled i don't need a whole half belt of sulfur i don't need 7.5 engine units per second and um, so we can sushi things together um so over here this example has uh purple science military science grenades red ammo prod mods, uh, electric furnaces somewhere, uh, there's a lot of things that I need in small amounts that are all just on the same piece of belt. And that not only saves me belt, because I don't have a belt of red ammo and a belt of grenades, it also saves me input inserters. So I've got purple science, one output inserter, one input inserter, bit of belt going past, this is a nice compact build. Um, so, so the, yeah, those are those are basically the three things. Are there are there spaces in your build that are doing nothing? Are there spaces in your build that have two jobs because you can go underneath something else that's a different job? And maybe you can sushi a bunch of stuff together. Uh, yeah, sushi is sushi is warp demon approved. Sushi makes Thulu happy.